Welcome to this video on this super smooth do-it-yourself throttle and joystick to be used with flight simulators. The purpose of this project was to, to have a really very very smooth joystick because I did not like my, the joystick I have. It, it, it was too coarse to make very smooth and tiny modifications to the plane and make very smooth landings and now it is because this throttle is super smooth all it takes is a little bit of woodwork and of course the wiring between the Arduino and all the switches and then we have to download some software to get the sketch, the, the, the program into the Arduino and that's what this video is about the first thing that needs to be done is to go to this website called arduino.cc and over there navigate to the software downloads page and there scroll down a bit to find uh, different uh, downloads for different types of computer uh, in the case of Windows just take the top one, download it and install it. Once you have installed it you should find on your desktop an Arduino icon and let's just click that to open the program. The, the integrated development environment or IDE as it is called there it is, we, we have to check uh, where the program stores its uh, sketches, the sketches is the name for software for an Arduino uh, so let's go to the file menu and then to the preferences and have a look over here, here it says in what folder the sketches are to be stored and of course you can change that if you like uh, so make the changes that you want and then remember where the sketches, the, the, the programs for the Arduino should go. That's all for now. We close this and we close this because now we are going to download the Arduino sketch. To do that uh, go to uh, this uh, page called Rudy's, oops, Rudy's Model Railway and find the blog post joystick and throttle part 3 and then uh, scroll down a bit Oh, uh, before we go further you need to have an Arduino Leonardo uh, a, a standard Arduino Uno is not going to work because it does not have the proper USB uh, on board the Leonardo can act as a so called human interface device which is important in this case uh, scroll a bit further down the page and over here you find a, a download link so just uh, uh, click that or right click it whatever is needed and download the software once that is done we go to uh, file manager and uh, we should now have a rbo joystick.zip file so the first thing to do is unzip that and then we end up with a joystick a library and the RBO joystick software for the Arduino. What to do with those? Well, the library should go to the Arduino library folder, which can be found uh, on the location where it is installed. Uh, in my case, that is uh, on drive C uh, program files x86 there is my Arduino folder and there is the libraries folder and that is the place where you have to move this joystick folder to I already have it over here so I'm not going to repeat that uh, that's done, the library is there and then the second thing to do is find the location where usually your sketches are kept uh, that starts usually in my documents and then Arduino and that's the location where you move this joystick software then we go into that folder and we click that uh, file and that opens up the IDE again but now with the proper program loaded 
Now before we can upload this to the Arduino, we need to check two more things. The first is that we have the proper board selected, so go to the tool menu and over here select the board and from a long list you have to find the Arduino Leonardo and click it and then we also have to check the proper communication port so again go to tools and then to port and then you might have a longer list than I have over here uh, in case you have a longer list and uh, suppose that the Arduino Leonardo is not even mentioned yeah then unfortunately you just have to try them out uh, all uh, and uh, eventually find the right communication port I have now only one uh, my Arduino is connected and I can upload the software and upload is done by clicking this arrow over here and uh, the program is transferred to the Arduino which I am not going to do because I already did that obviously so once it is transferred and there are no errors uh, yeah what to do in case there are errors well then unfortunately uh, all you can do is try to google because you probably never are the only one with a certain type of error and Google can uh, can find other posts of other people and and help maybe to 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 find out what is wrong and what can be done about it. But let's hope that all went well with me. It it did. Uh, so I can close the program now and uh, start up my throttle. Well, that is already started. It is connected to a USB, so I should be able to find it in the uh, window control panel. So go over here to the search and type control to find the old-fashioned control panel because the new one has two limited uh, options yeah here it is and then we go over here to the devices and printers yeah click that and uh, then we should see our Arduino Leonardo uh, yeah, in view we have uh, right click it go to game controller settings in the new window go to Arduino Leonardo or select that and then go to properties and then finally oops what's happening then finally we have the old-fashioned joystick uh, yeah, test window so to speak so what is happening here if I move my joystick which I am doing right now uh, we see this little cross uh, moving around in that square if I rotate it, uh, that is my Z or Z axis if I use my throttle, uh, yeah, then obviously that is moving so all seems to work well and if I operate my rudder then also that works and as we can see if I press some buttons then the red lights uh, light up so that is a proper test to to see if everything is working fine and it seems that it does so i'm now ready to start playing microsoft flight simulator or explain or prepared or whatever your brand of flight simulator is enjoy i enjoy uh, this throttle a lot it took uh, a few hours to build it of course but uh, yeah that's also part of the fun and now uh, yeah, this, this throttle is really super smooth, super soft in its operation. I like it a lot. Thank you for watching and maybe see you back in a future video. Bye bye.